Okay, for this smoke, say you want to smoke off this guy right here. That could potentially be right there. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is when you're coming out of here, grab your smoke, walk into this corner here. And if you see, there's three shadows. If you aim right in the middle of this middle shadow right here, so right there, and then ever so slightly to the right, not too much, or it'll mess everything up. You aim right there, throw it, and it lands right there on the hood. Now the beauty of this is you can see him very clearly, but if he goes in here, he's blind. So an easy little thing just to help your team out a little bit. Shoot him, move on, pew, pew, pew. Everyone should know the smoke by now. Very useful. Walk right here, window, throw the grenade. very effective. Okay, for this smoke, to smoke off uh, long A from CT, what you're going to want to do to get the best results is to grab a smoke grenade, obviously. You're going to want to stand in this corner here, aim along this right here at the upper wire right there, and then what you're going to want to do is run with the grenade out till your crosshair goes right alongside with that. See that arch? How it ends right there? You're going to want to let go right there. So here we go. I'm throwing smoke. And as you can see here, that is about as perfect as you can get it. Um, it isn't 100% perfect. You can still count legs here and a little bit here, as you can see right in there. But other than that, it's about as perfect as you can ask for. If the enemy team is holding you down at A doors, a very easy way to smoke this area off and get him out of there is to <laughs> that bounce to grab a smoke grenade take the light go down to the first wire throw it and the only real disadvantage to this is it does take a little while for the smoke to eventually pop a very easy way to smoke off xbox if you want to push cat from t-spawn is Go right up here into this corner, grab your smoke, the awning or whatever you want to call it right here, you want to aim just ever so slight to, slightly to the right of that, just like just a hair, and then right at the corner of the building up top. And then what you're going to want to do is run it down to here, so when you're at the bottom wire you're going to want to let go, but while you're running. So here you go. Smoke. And then what that does is it'll bounce off there, go down there. And with a fairly impressive amount of precision, most of the time, <laughs> it'll land on Xbox and you can push up cat. This flash onto B site, I would highly recommend practicing this before you hop in a game because there's a high risk of missing and potentially blinding your teammates. So you're going to want to take this vent, this shadow here, and this hump. That's what you're going to need, that bump on the, in the ground. Aim around the around the um, shadow right there. Go over vent, right over the shadow, and let go. And it pops right up and over. And as you can see, that's like really excellent for people that are here. Um, <laughs> here doesn't really do anything, but especially like up here when they're shooting here, and here, and here, all these places get popped really hard by that and it's like totally unpredictable unless you hear it so very good flash but like I said it's really easy to mess up and do something like that and blind your teammates so just practice it yourself get used to it and you'll do fine so a really useful pop flash onto a site run it up here hit it off that it'll bounce up pop right there if you have an opper waiting for you right here, as you can see it pops right there. It's almost undetectable unless they're watching for it, especially if they're scoped in. Um, they pretty much will not see it, and it's very effective. Alongside, if your team is pushing up here from CT, if you look at this mound on the ground right here, you can see it kind of like change right there. 
If you try to hit the top of that, like right there, with the pop flash, Flashback. it'll pop right up there. It's easy. It's really useful. And if you somehow coordinate with your buddy coming up cat, it's pretty much a guaranteed uh, sight take. So yeah, pretty useful. This is useful for entering B site. Take the line, the arch, and the pillar. Aim just high on where the arch and the line intersect. So just about right there. You're going to want to run that in. The smoke will pop. You can do exactly the same thing with the flashbang. I'm throwing a flashbang. And as you can see, it pops right out there. Very useful. Blocks off. Big box, window, right behind that box. Um, and then you can also, while that smokes up, you can just kind of hop up here, kill these guys, but you will be open to window and this, and potentially big box, so. If you're pinned in CT here, and the enemy team is pretty much planted B, let's say it's a 1v2 situation, and they're opping down through doors, instead of peeking and losing your face, an easy way of countering that if you have an op or something, is to just kind of hop up here and you can op right through there if you keep peeking over you'll find him and you can wallbang if it pretty much needs to be a headshot though because it loses some of its damage going through there but very useful um i've used it quite a few times a useful way to get up onto xbox just hit the corner here crouch jump and you're pretty much up. Uh, guaranteed way of doing that is just back up into the corner, aim at the corner of the Xbox, just jump up, and you're up. This last tip here is for those of you that don't know about the extra crouch jump that you can get, it's a high crouch jump. So you have your normal crouch jump where you jump and then crouch to get over that, but it won't work on this. You have to jump from this box here to, and do that same thing. But something a lot of people don't know is if you crouch and then jump, so like crouch jump, you'll get it. But I wasn't close enough. You can get it. So if you crouch just ever so slightly before you jump, whoosh, I did it too long there, then you can hop up on stuff like this. It's just ever so slightly higher. Um, you know, normally you don't need to do that. Like this will work fine and so will this. If you want to jump right up here, you have to do the crouch and then jump. You need to kind of try it on your own, kind of get a feel for it, but it's pretty easy once you understand it. So I hope these uh, tips and tricks helped you out on this map. Let me know in the comments section if you would like to see more. Um, in the future, I could do like part two or, you know, like different maps or something. So let me know your thoughts and... Uh, my name is Jaws of Fire, and I'll catch you in the next video.